नमस्कार वेलकम टू क्लाइट संवाद ब्रॉट टू बाय द हिंदू टेंपल ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड टुडे वी हैव अनुपम विद अस एंड टुडे वी आर डूइंग अ कंटिन्यूएशन स्टोरी बट इन अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट वे सो लास्टली इन आवर पॉडकास्ट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट तुलसीदास जी लाइक हाउ तुलसीदास जी डिड ऑल व्हाट ही रोट फॉर अस बट इन दैट बिट इफ यू फॉलो आवर लास्ट एपिसोड यू विल रियलाइज देयर इज अ स्टोरी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी हाउ तुलसीदास जी मेट हनुमान जी एंड देन हाउ हनुमान जी टुक हिम टू भगवान राम so this is like a charitra of a bhakt meeting a bhakt and then you know and we as a tribe who are trying to be bhakt reading their character and becoming a bhakt you know like what an inception kind of story so we are going to dive into today maharaj bharat story like the very lesser known i would say i read a little bit about his character and trust me there was just tears flowing nothing else So today we have Anupam with us, and we would like him to give us more insight about Bharat and his character. Anupam, please. Thank you very much, uh, Rishabh ji, and Namaskar to everyone. So Bharat Charitra is something that uh, uh, you know it will be very surprising if someone listens to it and does not, like you said, the eyes do not become red, and the one who is speaking about it, uh, the throat does not get shocked. You know, the kant avrudh dhona, as they say. You know, the, it, so so he is the prema avatar. Uh, and and you know there's there are people you know people just touch their ears and they say sorry uh you know he's he's he's, he's so far away we can't even we can't even touch the shadow of bharat ji so he's it's an amazing topic you've chosen but it's a very very deep and uh, you know totally of of prema uh, towards ram so he's called the prema star of 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 shri so um, i believe you know when we talk about prem you know like the so when i go to vrindavan you know it's all about like nobody says about krishna there it's only radha Correct. gopis and that love is always revolving yes. around yes. so is it similar to the bharat's character you are absolutely right so what i've heard is uh, you know the one who comes closest to having that level of love uh, you know for krishna rama narayan you know all of them are the same is is just the gopis there's no one else who comes close uh, you know everyone every character has a significance i'm not belittling anyone you know everyone has a different role but uh, you know bharat in terms of prem is is Uh, in an orbit of his own and very alone there's no one who's there would you like to take us and our audience into the birth story and how significant was the birth of maharaj bharat yeah so the birth story of of uh, uh, you know the four brothers how they appeared and rishashring that uh, uh, kheer just one was one bowl and the king had three queens so the way he divided for for whatever reasons was he the first half of it So, if you consider six anas, you know, in the in the ancient Indian system, so the first eight anas, the first half was given to Mata Kaushalya, and then the next eight anas he again divided into two, and he gave four anas to Kaushalya and four anas to Kekai, and Kaushalya and Kekai divided theirs into two, and they gave them to uh, Mata Sumitra. so that's how that's how it went and then that's why you see you know that uh, uh, after the birth of these princes uh, mother sumitra because she had got those shares the shares of that kheer from uh, you know from the two queens from her two elder queens she passed that she passed she gave her sons back so you say you see lakshman is always tied to ram you know ram cannot move anywhere without lakshman right from day one he cannot sleep without him he cannot eat without him and similarly shatrugna for his full life he was dedicated to bharat so you know you will see again uh, in terms of their varna so ram and bharat look exactly alike uh, the the people who pay attention to detail uh, in in those uh, paintings you will see bharat is the only one who is of that bluish hue uh, similar to ram and shatrugna and lakshman are the gaur the fair ones the fair ones yeah so oh so there is a, like the relation in between yes so like did they look exactly similar was there some distinction very or like very similar it was extremely difficult for even guru vashish to figure out who is ram and who is bharat and what they say is that uh, uh, the only way he could figure out was he used to look at their eyes mm-hmm. and bharat's eyes were always fixated on the feet of rama as a devotion from like when that's from uh, right from childhood right from wow <clears throat> so when we talk about the character of bharat so over the time that it built up like when did it like, really come to light uh like people they like that okay because uh, most of people we don't even read ramayan you know the whole complete ramayan and uh, you be one of them you know like who have read it actually the lucky one so 
where does the exactly the character of uh, Bharat comes out if somebody wants to read? Where do they exactly shift to in Ramayana? You have to go to the Ayodhya Kand. There are seven Kands of Ramayana, as you know. So this is the second one after the Bal Kand, the Ayodhya Kand, where uh, uh, Bharat's character actually shines. And that's when, uh, that's because, you know, Rama, he's always in the shadows of Rama, right? He's the, uh, he's, he's the, he's the star, he's the sun of the Raghupul, right? So, uh, like all the planets get, get combust behind the sun. Uh, so, Bharat's Charitra shines when Ram moves away into the Varvas. So, the Ayodhya can't to answer your question directly. Okay, so when we shift to Ayodhya Khan, that's where that's we where you'll see. So how how exactly is Bharat's character? If you would like to dive into that, maybe it's not like we are not the kind who can justify it. But if you could just provide a little bit of knowledge to us that how exactly was Bharat once Ramji left? Yeah. So so uh, you know he was at his Nanihal, uh, you know Mata Kaikai's father's place at the time that the Vanvas, uh, the whole Vanvas incident happened. So uh, you know he came back and he saw Ayodhya in a totally different state as to when he had gone. You know, Raja Dashrath had passed away, uh, the three queens were widowed, uh, Ram, Lakshman, Sita were gone away from Ayodhya, there was mourning all around and he was totally unaware, uh, you know, what had happened. So, there's a whole, that's that's a whole detail of how shocked he was and, and what he felt, the emotions uh, uh, that he felt. But he decided then and there, you know, so Guru Vashish told him that, look, you know, this is your, as per, as per your father's wish, uh, Rama has gone to uh, Vanvas. You need to play your part. Your father wanted you to be the king, so please uh, take up the throne. And you know the the way he expresses his emotions and the way he uh, you know Guru Vashishtha and everyone they they say they, they just they were helpless uh, in front of Bharat's emotions and they said we have to do what he says and he says I am going to get Rama back. So if you want you can come with me. If you want no, but no. So that's when his you know the dialogues that he has with Guru Vashishtha and. Everyone tries to convince him and that's when everyone just bows down before his, uh, uh, you know, the, the strength of his uh, uh, devotion to Rama. Uh, no one can stand, uh, no one can stand that thing. So, uh, you know, they say that if you, the, when he was, um, at, at one place, uh, you know, he met, he met Nishad Raj and everyone as he was going, as he was following the footsteps of Rama, you know, where he went, he was asking, oh, where is Rama, did he come from you? So, the... As he was going and he, as he was crying on the way, uh, you go to Chitrakoot and you will see rocks that are melted. And those are actually, you know, so that's why they say that anyone who listens to Bharat Charitra, he has to, you know, you yeah. can't stop from crying. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, that's, that's a very, uh, that's a very, very overview mm-hmm. of, of this. So when, uh, when I, I believe like there was some story with even when he meets the Nishat Raj and uh, I think uh, Bhagwan Ram said that now you are my brother as well. So he was also like uh, given one of the uh, category of the brother because there was also a backstory to it that how Nishad Raj got this opportunity to have Bhagwan Ram on his boat first time, and then the backstory goes like uh, in a different like a loop from Narayan that what happened there and Lakshmi stopped him for some reason and then when he came that okay it's not just that you are blessed from now now you will be also having the same category as me. So, <clears throat> when, what happens when Bhagwan Ram actually, no, so Bharat goes and meets Bhagwan Ram. Is there like a diff, like some stories from that time into the Ramayana? Oh yes, so there are uh, amazing stories, you know. So on the way, what happens is, uh, uh, so you know when Bharat is going, uh, you know, Vashishti says, I want to come, the queen says, I want to go, and pretty much the whole of Ayodhya, uh, tags along with Bharat. So there are so many stories, you know, so so it's like an army uh, that is going, okay. So uh, first is, uh, so the Nishad Raj, so one, is, one is a Nishad Raj and one is a Gu, as they say, the, the Kivat who took him across Ganga. So they are two different uh, oh, characters. Oh, two key different characters. So this Nishad Raj was Rama's childhood friend. Okay. And he was made the king of all the Bheels and the Nishads by King Dashrath himself. So there's a story for that maybe some other time when the Bhavcharitra series, uh, maybe we can, you know, we can plan something like that. But, uh, you know, when he saw, so, so when he saw an army coming, the first thought that comes to mind is, oh, you know, why are they coming here with an army, right? If Bharat wants to, really wants to take back Rama, why is he coming with an army, right? It means he, does he want to attack Rama and, you know, he's not happy that he's sent him to, right? That kind of emotions come uh, for people. So, uh, he, he, you know, when Bharat sees Nishad Raj, he, he gets down from his, uh, you know, 
and, and he meets and so that, there's a lot of detail around that uh, and then he meets various people on the way but to answer, come to your question they say that when uh, uh, finally Bharat uh, and there's a story before that you know so Lakshman felt the same way that he saw dust rising at the horizon and all these armies coming in so uh, he said, I'm not going to leave Bharat. No, what does he think? And you know how Lakshman Ji was, right? And yeah, always curious. <laughs> so, always curious. <laughs> so, so, you know, this is one of the testimonials of, of, uh, of Bharat Ji. So, and he says to Rama, I'm, you know, he just picks up his bow and arrow and says, I'm going, where are you going, Lakshman? I see Bharat is coming and I see, I think he's coming to attack us. I'm not going to let him go this time. I'm not going to let anyone go, right? So Rama says, hang on. So, what do you think? Why do you think Bharat is coming here? He's saying, he's coming to attack No, he's saying, Look, Bharat is like uh, that ocean, and you know he says like if you in an ocean of milk, if you if you put a few drops of lime, do you think that will become funny? No, mm -hmm. right? so so he can he's like that ocean of compassion, and you think that for him uh, the kingdom of Ayodhya is nothing like a few drops of uh, so, right? so so it's, it's something that is nothing for him he doesn't want that mm. so please don't do this and and you know there was an akashwani also and they, they had to stop lakshman you know please mm -hmm. please hold so that's one of the testimonies of how ram thinks about bharat and when he met they say uh, you know so he was sitting like you and i are sitting right so rama was sitting here and there was a sun sabha so he was in the vanvas at that time and he was doing katha and it seems you know bharat came from behind and he just did a dandavat mm -hmm. Lakshman being in front, so he saw uh, Bharat, uh, you know, just doing a thunder. So he tells Ram that, uh, hey Ram, Bharat has come to meet you. And uh, th that has to be read, you know, in the Ramayana, I cannot describe it. But they say that the way he turned, so he used to always keep his bow and arrow with him. So the bow fell down and the arrow fell down. And then, you know, the, the gamcha used to wear that fell down. So the, the, the emotion they say is that, you know, all of these just said that, oh, Ram and Bharat have to meet. Let's move away. Okay. So, so you know, that's how they met, kind of. Like even like everything, even the, the living and the non-living, yeah. And the inanimate object said, you know, everything move away. Move, just move away. Yeah. yeah. So when we talk about like, so even Tulsidas has written so much about that, and I believe you mentioned that there is no end to it. Would you like to like tell our audience about that? That how the character of Bharat has no end even in that mind. Thanks. Uh, before that, I'll answer that question for sure. It's very beautiful. But before that, I'd just like to give, like Rama gave a uh, testimonial, right? There were a few other people uh, as the story progresses. So, you know, when Bharat was going towards uh, uh, Ram, and that's when the Devta, so the, so the way, the, why Rama had gone to go to Vanvas was because he had to, you know, his avatar, he had to fulfill the purpose of his avatar, which was to, you know, save the Devtas, you know, because Ravan had, you know, pretty much you'll read stories of how, uh, uh, you know, uh, Indra was Ravan's gardener and, uh, you know, yeah. the, the Chandradev used to hold a chatra behind him and uh, yeah. you know, all those kind of things. So, so Shanidev was there. He had to rescue everyone. He had to, you know, slay Ravan. So, imagine he's going and Bharat is going with this kind of emotion and no one is, is able to withstand his prava, right? His prem prava of his, of that nadi if it is flowing. So, they got very scared that if Ram sees him, he won't be able to withstand him as well. So, they said, you know, they went to Mata Saraswati and they said, uh, you know, can you please, uh, you know, again, do something, you know, <laughs> like you did with Mantra. And he said, I got to be crazy. Okay. So then uh, Indra went to Vrindaspati and Vrindaspati said, don't even think about it. Okay. So, so, <laughs> right? so, so you don't know what Bharat is, right? Don't even think about it. <laughs> then uh, he went to, you know, on the way he met to Bharat Pajuni, right? So he was tracing Rama's footsteps, Ram, as he was meeting the saints. Uh, so, so he, he, you know, gave his guilt to, express his guilt to Bharat Vajani. Because of me, Rama went to, you know, I can't forgive myself. So Bharat said, uh, so Bharat Vaj, he couldn't say much. So he just said, look, you know, first of all, I want Rama's darshan. And you know what I think about meeting you? I think because the, the fall of Rama's darshan is to get your darshan. Okay. So, uh, and, and Tulsi Das Ji writes a line over there that, uh, Bharat Saras ko Ram sa nahi, jabi jabi Ram, Ram jabi jabi. So basically, there's no one who loves Ram more than Bharat. Uh, the whole world says Ram, Ram. Mm -hmm. And Ram actually does a jap of Bharat Bharat. Okay. So, um, so that's about, you know, Devuri Bhraspati. And then, uh, you know, at the time when he met Ram and he was saying, no, you have to come back. I don't, I don't know. You have to come back. Right. So, Ram had to go to Vashishtmoni and say, look, please, you know, please help him, explain to him. 
He had to go to Raja Janak came over there, right? Raja Janak came there at that Sabha where everyone was there. Uh -huh. When Bharat was saying, no, I'm going to take you back. Otherwise, I'm just going to die. I'm just going to suicide here. So, uh, in that, again, that's a very elaborate uh, way of how he finally took the Kharama and everything. But uh, Vashisht, when, when Ram says, help me, you know, please convince him. And he says, you know what, my condition in front of Bharat is like, I'm standing at the shore of an ocean and wondering how I will cross this ocean. So I'm sorry, I cannot help you. Uh, you know, and then Raja Janak, so you know, his his queen, uh, mm -hmm. you know, after all these debates were happening in the mm -hmm. day where Bharat was trying to convince and Ram was saying, no, I cannot, you know, I Raghu Kul Reed Sadar Pran, Pran mm -hmm. Jai, but I cannot let my father's words go in waste. So uh, then, you know, the, the queen of Janak, she said to him in the night, right, oh, what, what's this, what's with, what's with Bharat, you know, so, uh, what's going on? And he said, look, don't ask me about Bharat. So, Janak, if you know Raja Janak, he's, he's considered as a Raja Rishi. Mm -hmm. And uh, you heard of Shukdev Muni, who is the son of uh, yeah. uh, Vedvyas. Mm -hmm. And Vedvyas had sent Shukdev Muni to Raja Janak to understand uh, the finer, the subtler aspect. So, he was he was a person who could do, uh, you know, the conversation at a very, very subtle level, the sukshma level. Yeah, the sukshma, uh, yeah, yeah. He was, he was that good, you know, Raja Janak. So, uh, he was Jeevan Mukta, as they say. So, he again touched his ear and he said, look, you know, I cannot even touch the shadow of Bharat. So, please don't ask me. I cannot explain to you what he is. You know? mm -hmm. So, everyone, everyone just stops and they say, sorry. Everybody just stands up. No kind of. So anyway, so coming to your question, uh, these are the testimonials, coming to your question. So Tulsi Das Ji has ended every Kant, seven, seven Kant, right? He ends, but uh, at the end of the Ayodhya Kant, he doesn't write an iti. He doesn't end the Ayodhya Kant because the Bharat Charitra is infinite. And he just bows down to it and says, look, Ayodhya Kant is all about Bharat. I'm not going to end this Kant. I'm just going to move on to the next one. So that's the tribute he pays to Bharat Ji. Jalam of Bharat. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Anupam. Um, sorry if you see my eyes getting wet. This just generally happens. And uh, I would urge everyone to just go and read Bharat Charitra. If you think you love someone, well, that will be an eye-opener for you. And if you think how to love someone, again, it will be an eye-opener for you. That It's like a, the epitome of how the yes. love is done. Thank you so much, Anupam. Thank you for and me. we will join you back soon with some other episode and some more gyan into the Bharat Charitra. Bhakti Charitra like Maharaj Bharat. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Namaskar.